When Devil May Cry 4 first came out back in 2008, the game didn't have a trophy list, and this pissed me off for years. Then all of a sudden, seven years later, Capcom decided to re-release Devil May Cry 4 with more content and playable characters. But more importantly, Devil May Cry 4 would finally have its very own trophy list. Praise be to Yevon. And so me being a huge fan of this franchise, I picked up this game as fast as possible, and I hunted what trophies that I could. However, I quickly realized that this game was a huge pain in the ass to Platinum. And unfortunately, back then I lacked the patience and ambition that I have now, so it was very easy for me to call it quits. The god gamer I am today, however, has platinumed every single Devil May Cry game, including the reboot, which is a much better game than people give it credit for. And now all I'm missing is DMC4. This journey, however, wouldn't be easy. This platinum is a 0.5% earn rate for a reason. You guys know me, I'm not one to shy away from a challenge. And so once again, I've decided to set out what not many people have done before. This game's trophy list can pretty much be divided into two parts. More than half of time spent playing this game is dedicated to earning an S rank on every single mission across five separate difficulties. We would need an S rank on every mission for Human Difficulty, Devil Hunter Difficulty, Son of Sparta, Dante Must Die Difficulty, and then lastly, Legendary Dark Knight, which is a brand new mode added to the game, which has you fighting against a ridiculous amount of enemies at all times. Oh no! Oh god! Holy shit! Oh my god! Each of these difficulty modes, as you would imagine, get harder as you go up the list, that is, of course, until you get to Legendary Dark Knight, which is more of a meme mode than anything. And no, none of the S ranks stack, meaning we're gonna have to play a minimum of five separate playthroughs of this game. This would be an incredibly long and repetitive grind, having to replay the same levels over and over again. Now, back when I platinumed Devil May Cry 5, no matter how difficult the game ever became, I never stopped having fun. And that's because Devil May Cry 5 is just such a well-made, solid, and well-balanced video game that was incredibly fun and rewarding to play. And I can honestly say that I do not feel that way about this game. I'd say the absolute worst thing about playing this game is the fact that the vast majority of the enemies that you fight are f***ing miserable to deal with and incredibly annoying. Frost has some of the most annoying projectiles in the game, Give me a minute. Fuck. For f sakes. What the f bro? He's so far away! They have difficulty being staggered, making gaining style on them very difficult. And they can also fully heal themselves if left unattended. Assaults are fast as f and can attack you from a mile away within the blink of an eye. Ah! When infected with a chimera seed, they become living cancer. What the hell is this? Oh, 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 Let's just see how this plays out. Chimeras, huh? Oh, shit. Mephisto can only be damaged by gunshots until you remove their cloak. However, once they become vulnerable, if they touch anything that is not solid ground, there's this really annoying thing that seems like a glitch where they just instantly get their cloak back. And this becomes very infuriating very quickly. They win the wall! What the fuck? No way I died! <laughs> Faust is just a much more cancer version of Mephisto. Don't oh, come on! That's bullshit! And then there's Blitz, who is easily one of the most difficult enemies that I have ever dealt with in my gaming career. And this is no exaggeration. Oh, I'm going zip zop zoom a bop Also, 
these f***ing fish. I hate these motherfuckers. No! No! You? I hate this enemy. Like, I cannot stand this enemy. Oh, yeah, and the Gladius is suck-ass, too, now that I think about it. Holy Wombo Combo, dude! Okay, I gotta item up. Holy shit, bro. And then, of course, there's the Altos that really get on my nerves. No! Oh, you're so annoying. Stand still, you motherfucker! Come to think of it, I hate every single enemy in this game except the Scarecrows. So what, that's like two enemies that I don't despise? This game sucks, why am I playing it? Suffice it to say, many of the enemies in this game were created and designed by a sadist, who for some reason thought these f***ers would be fun to fight, when in reality, they're just aids. The Frost, because I hate him. What the hell? This guy just spawned in and hit me instantly. No way. No! Come on! Like, how do I defense against that, bro? I just walked in the f***ing room and he's already hitting me, man. This makes playing the game at a high level that much more difficult to accomplish. And so I decided if I was gonna suffer dealing with these enemies, then I would want to play a character that would make my enemies just as miserable as I was. And so I decided that Trish and Lady would be the way to go. Alright, it's time for women. Try not to keep us waiting, Dante. Women and pizza. The two greatest things ever created. These two are newly added to the special edition version of Devil May Cry 4. And from my experience, characters that are added to a game post-launch usually tend to be pretty unbalanced. And these women have some excellent easy mode strategies when dealing with the aids. When I say this, I'm mostly referring to Lady because she is a goddamn animal in this game. Holy shit! Animals! However, if you play Lady, you have to play Trish too. So learning both characters is unavoidable. You play through the majority of the game as Lady, however. And this character is so broken that I actually spent, I don't know, 70, 80% of getting the S ranks using only two of Lady's attacks. Make it rain, which is not the actual name of the move, but that's what she says every time she does it. <laughs> well, this is my kind of rain. And charge level three handguns. And that's it. Bam! Boom! Blasted his ass to kingdom f This is amazing. This is amazing! I freaking love this, chat. Look how easy it is. Damn, this is great, yo. This is the fucking turn your brain off gameplay. I love it! The funny thing is, she has plenty of other overpowered attacks. God damn, I love the shotgun. However, I mainly used only these two moves, and it was more than enough to deal with most of the enemies in this game, which was hilarious. Occasionally, I would have to change tactics a little bit for some of the boss fights, but bottom line, if there was an obstacle, Lady had an easy way of overcoming it. This character is just too ridiculous. Shit! Now that's an S rank. One thing that really did get on my nerves throughout my time spent playing this game is that the jank as f targeting system rears its ugly head once again. I don't know how many video games I've played where this has been an ongoing issue. Game devs just can't get targeting right. Look at this shit. Look at this asshole. She targets the one furthest in the back. Look at this shit. No, lady, you idiot! She targeted the fucking. Why? Why would you target that guy? Here we go. 
target this guy the guy closer to you the guy closer to you target him no i guess not i guess not lady that's fine i, I didn't want to target that guy anyway i had no intention and see look he hit me but you know it's it's not like i wanted to target him like an hour ago or anything i hate you oh. target the guy who's right next to you man god why is that in every game i play i hate all of you <laughs> Oh, why she targets someone who isn't even in front of me is beyond me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow. Do not walk into those by accident. The savior is coming! I'm getting real upset, chat. I'm getting real upset. I haven't had a single opportunity to combo him because he just keeps doing that. I'll, I'll just about to knock him and then I can't. Thank God. Still got an ass. Alright, I got, I got, I got mildly annoyed. Just ever so slightly. No big deal. I have S-ranked every lady mission on every difficulty. The real difficulty and learning curve presented in this journey would come in the form of Trish. Because with Trish, I would actually have to learn how to play the game. She wasn't flat out easy mode like Lady was. I don't remember how to do shit, chat. How do you do the f***ing... Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. That being said, investing time into playing Trish wasn't a bad thing. This character is very capable of greatness. We're good, baby. She has some excellent attacks and tricks up her sleeve, so after putting in enough time, I really started to get the hang of her, and she's actually a lot of fun to play. And then I got to missions 13 and 14. And if you're on Son of Sparta or higher difficulty, these are without a shadow of a doubt the hardest missions to S-rank in the entire game. Especially because of this thing. No! Oh, you fuck! Funny enough, this is another enemy that I cannot stand, and I completely forgot to talk about it. This little blue tentacle f***er is constantly trying to eat you throughout the entirety of Mission 14. Hey, I feel that, dude. No! And if he catches you, not only does he force you into a mandatory fight, but once you get out, you'll have to do the fight where you originally got caught once again from the beginning. And this little bastard loves to time the scoop perfectly when I just happen to be locked into an animation. Meaning no amount of skill can help you dodge it, and your ass is getting caught. <laughs> it also doesn't help that S-ranking a mission in every Devil May Cry game is a little different. However, this game has one of the most pointless and stupidest requirements for earning an S-rank. In order to earn an S-rank in a mission, of course, as always, you have to rack up a shit ton of style points. That's in every single game. The other two requirements are complete the mission as fast as possible, and then there's the meme as f red orb requirement, which requires you to gather as many red orbs throughout the mission as possible. And because this game is old and dated, Capcom thought it would be really funny to include these hidden caches of red orbs that are extremely convoluted and difficult to find. You'll have to stand in the exact right spot in order to get the orbs, and if you don't, you would have never known that they were even there. Got it! And missing these hidden caches can cost you the S rank very easily. <laughs> How did I not get an S on orbs, man? Damn it! As you would imagine, this was incredibly tedious, trying to find where all these were, memorize them, and make sure I picked them all up, 
every time on every difficulty. But alas, it needed to be done. All right, this time I'll remember, Chad. Check it out. You get those, and then. No! No! Come on, really? I jumped over it. Now I can't get back up. Oh! Come on! You gotta be mother kidding me, bro. Why is this so hard? Yeah! And so I beat my head against the wall, trying desperately to S-rank missions 13 and 14. If you want it, then you'll have to take it. Oh, the grind, the grind, chat. Oh my, I fought him like shit, bro. Oh my god, he did Thanks. so much damage. Jeez, I, I'm gonna need so much practice. Where the f*** are you going, bro? Oh my, you just had to. And then he died! You're an asshole, you know that? Asshole! No way. You gotta be shitting me, bro. I needed 8,250 style points to S rank. I hate these. No. <laughs> yeah, like if I were to farm style, that's the room to do it. That worked. Okay, well, I mean, I did better than the last time I fought him, at least. <laughs> wow, well, I didn't use an item. Did I get it? Okay, we're learning. Kinda, maybe, sorta, possibly. Oh boy! Well, thank you everybody for watching today's stream. I'm rage quitting this shit. Bro, man! There was nowhere you could stand! There's tentacles everywhere! She has an AoE explosion! Her fucking whip my hair back and forth attack! There's nowhere to stand! I can't attack her! Like, what the fuck? Huh. It's amazing how bad this fight can go. It really is. We good? We're good. Got my ass kicked pretty good. Gotcha, bitch! Okay! Oh, we asked it, boys. Alright! Mission 14. I remember this being annoying. Welcome to hell! Oh, oh my. <laughs> I fucking hate that fucking fuck! Oh. What do I do about this bro? There's so many other enemies in the room! No, you fuck! Every time! Get 
out of the pit, bro. Hit him. <laughs> All right, let's do Dante Must Die. Mission fourteen. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, chat. <laughs> oh. I'm dead. Oh. Oh. Well, I have devil trigger. Although, I, he might kill me. Mm. I'm gonna item. I'm too afraid. You. F well, I used an item, so I lost the no item bonus. Which sucks. See, this is the last big fight, is the thing, right? Oh! Ah, every time! Like, if they showed f***ing gameplay, maybe... Ah, every time! Ah! That's not an S. <sighs> yeah, using an item f***ed me. I gotta try and do this without using one. When he's doing this, you can't... Oh, boy. And he deleted my entire health bar and forced me into a situation where I have to use an item. And if I use an item, I'm back in the same situation as before. I don't have enough devil trigger. I thought I did. Oh no way, bro. <laughs> Holy mother, chat. There th there can't be a worse mission than this one, right? Like there's no way. A harder mission than this doesn't exist in this game. No f way dude this has to be peak difficulty oh my I can't see what he's doing because he's in the wall dude I can't react to that attack because I can't see him oh, it would have been so nice if I landed that that mat that fight was really good for style though I got a lot not that it fing matters, because if I just get to the blitz room and do it poorly, I fing rip run again. Oh, really, blitz? Whatever. At least the fing nugget's dead, dude. Why didn't he. Bro, he didn't stay frozen for. Fing off. There we go. Whatever, that's fine. He's f***ing dead. Get him out of my life. Bro. Oh my god, am I gonna die? Oh. They don't want to stand still, man. Oh my... <laughs> I'm at 5,900. 
This is the best run I've ever had. I feel like I should take another fight. Like, it'll take a while, but this mission does give you a lot of leeway on the timer. Like, I have, as you can see, 6,200 style. I never S on orbs, though, on this mission. That's the problem, so maybe I should just, um, look for more fights. Okay, that's gotta be good, right? I, I got a solid score here, man. That's gotta be it. If that's not the S, I give up on making content. I'm done on YouTube. I'm betting my YouTube career on this. If I don't get the S, I'm going back to Walmart tomorrow. I'm gonna say, take me back, please. I wasn't cut out for this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got S on orbs. How the f*** did I get S on orbs? What the? That's so weird. Because every other time, I never S on orbs. Whatever. It's done. It's behind me. Thank the Lord, baby Jesus. Okay, so I officially S ranked the hardest mission on the game, or in the game, on every difficulty. Once I S ranked missions 13 and 14, the worst that story mode had to offer was definitely behind me. Sure, there were still some future missions that would get tricky and provide some challenge. However, nothing else in story mode came close to the peak difficulty that was presented in missions 13 and 14. And so I pressed on. Not to get weird or anything, but I've struggled with anxiety and your streams and videos have really helped me. What you do is super important and you make a difference. Thanks, homie. That's not weird at all. That's really wholesome and I'm very happy to hear that my content does that for you man like if I can help in any way I can like that that I mean that makes me feel so much better about what I do so I'm really happy to hear that man I'm sorry you're going through that but I'm glad I could help like that like I don't see how any form of skill could have possibly stopped me from getting hit there that's what I'm not understanding the fact that he can instantly appear anywhere and you can't human reaction time it that means you have to, you have, like, human reaction time is not a thing here when he's zipping around. Oh, my God. Yeah, you can't react to it. You can't. Oh, he killed me right before I phased him. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm starting to reach that point where my stress levels are too high and I'm like really tilted again. Every day I've streamed this game, I've got to that point. Every single day I've streamed this game, I started getting so stressed out that I just had to step away for for a minute. And I'm, I'm feeling that way again. Like I could do some legendary Dark Knight missions instead. Because this is actually driving me up the f***ing wall. I literally can't do the level because I can't get past the first f***ing enemy. Jesus f man. Can you imagine playing DMC4 without turbo? Because I can't. I've been playing on turbo so long that it's hard to- God, I f that up large. Why are you- like- I, <laughs> I don't want to get mad. I don't want to get mad. But why on earth did she target the Mephisto way the f over there instead of the one that's right there in front of me. Why? I will never understand, bro. No. <laughs> like, out of everywhere these f***ers could be, they have to be floating in the wall, right? Alright, that's about all I can stomach for today. But, as you can see, hell of in progress it's a slow slog but it's going alan wake is matt's favorite game no 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 by the end of my youtube career whether it succeeds or fails at an all-time high or low one thing is for certain People will hate Alan Wake by the time I'm done on YouTube. Yeah, dude, MGS1 having trophy support, that is unreal. Like, if that day comes, holy shit, I'll be a happy boy. I'll be so happy. 
I'll be so happy. Whoa, yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Mm. A little bit of, uh, a little bit of, uh, you know. Sometimes you just gotta get that women. Wait, what? Yo. No. You guys remember when Caesar said no? And Malfoy was all like, get your darn dirty ape hand off me. And he was like, no! <laughs> You're such a motherfucker of an enemy. Like, come on! Fuck! The most unfun fucking enemies ever! Get out of the wall! Holy, he lives in the fucking wall! Holy, if I'm being completely honest, going for the platinum in this game is making me like it less. I always held DMC4 in like a positive light in my mind. I always said to myself, yeah, I really like this game. This trophy list is making me actually dislike it the game this game is best enjoyed casually it has some of the most fun and memorable cutscenes i've ever seen in a game and playing it casually is totally okay but doing the hardest content in this game nightmare every other devil may cry game like even two as awful as the game is easiest trophy list at least you could say that about two but this game's trophy list is nightmarish. Like, it sucks. I can't wait to be done with this. Somebody say crack. Okay. Oh, thank God that landed. I was scared I f***ed that up. Like, if I just keep bouncing back and forth, will he eventually do the beam? Oh, he did! Oh, shit! Trent! Boom! Oh! God! No! Why are you aiming over there? What the f***, man? You're not aiming anywhere near him! What the hell was that? No! Ah! <laughs> no, no, this isn't happening. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> I hate! I hate! God, you can't one rotation him on Dante must die. Brutal. Oh great, I'm trapped here. So this is it? Oh, that was excellent! Wait, I didn't know if you do that when he does that move, it's a free punish! Oh, I didn't know that! That's so good to know! I had no idea, chat! Go! Yeah! Yes! Ho! I'm so happy I just figured that out, like, by fucking a fool's chance, man. Because that's what I am, a fucking fool! 
Just monkey my way through this plat. <laughs> also, someone in my DMC5 video left a comment. Four, five, six. Saying that in DMC5, you can apparently quit and back out of the Bloody Palace and start from where you left off. Apparently, backing up a save is a thing. But I swear more people would have told me about that if that was true. Like, was he just talking out of his ass? The guy had to be lying. Doesn't work, it has to be in one sitting. Okay, so that guy was talking out of his ass. He literally wrote the comment too, like a know-it-all. He was like, yeah, I don't know why nobody knows this. Cause uh, you could just, you could just do that. Someone on the internet lied? No way. <laughs> Actually, you're all wrong. What a dipshit. <laughs> um, actually, pushes glasses into forehead. You can actually just quit and retry whenever you want. Matt is making fun of a guy talking out of his ass, but I talk out of my ass sometimes. Yeah, but the difference with you guys is when you do it, you're trying to be helpful. You, you're just, like, not 100% sure at times, and I understand that. There's times where I'll be like, oh, I'm pretty sure this is a thing, and then it's completely not, and I'm like, whoops, my bad. But with him... When you write a, a comment on a YouTube video, before you write that comment, you have all the time in the world to fact check it. You could Google search to make sure you're right before you post it like an asshole. But no, he didn't give a f He plainly posts it and tried to make people feel stupid at the same time. The guy was straight up just being a dickhole. Actually, Red Orb... <laughs> Actually, red orbs don't even sound towards the extract. Why are you grabbing them, man? I love the gaming expert that breathes through his mouth interpretation you're doing. <laughs> I've perfected sounding like a dipshit. I should throw a snort laugh in there, too. Um, actually, you can just quit out and save your progress at any time. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta throw the snort in there to perfect it. Then it's perfect. <laughs> uh, did I S? I did not. Guess I'll have to fight him properly on human. Yeah, human's gonna suck ass. And, well, I guess I'll. Yeah, I'll try and get the new item bonus. Oh, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> that wasn't too bad at all. Now I now even if I spam holy water, it doesn't matter. Should be fine. Should I do it now? I guess. Oh, I got it. Nice. Mm-hmm. All less is on Devil Hunter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guess you aren't some casual gamer. No. Just who the hell do you think I am? As Kamino would say. The savior is coming! Bitch! Son of Sparta. Mm-hmm. You know how to make me look good? I mean, I don't need to make you look good. You already look good. Oh, you got a triple holy water him now? Oh, God. I fucking missed that one. I think. Because he should have... Yo, what the f Bro, he's not going down! I've used five! What the hell? Maybe I'm just not using them fast enough? Oh, that time he knocked down! Why does he just not care sometimes? What is happening? What the fuck? Acknowledge me, senpai! What the fuck? 
I don't understand what's going on. Alright. <laughs> Whatever. That was weird as f but okay. We take those. Hey, let's go. Yeah, I actually totally forgot and didn't realize that I didn't get the triple S trophy on Son of Sparta. That would have been nice. Did I lower him too much? Oh, maybe not. That's gotta be it. Yo, give me the f***ing trophy. Oh, yeah. Thank God that counted on Legendary Dark Knight. Oh, yeah. Not just the men, but the women. There it is, chat. All S ranks on all difficulties. Now, there's one thing I've left to do before I go over to Bloody Palace. I gotta go shit on Credo. There was also a trophy to defeat each of the major bosses throughout this game with a triple S rank. Good night! I got most of these trophies without really having to go that far out of my way, which was nice. Trish and Lady are excellent at building style after all, and it's not too difficult for them to do it. Oh yeah! Bitch! Oh, I got the triple S. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. The only boss that was really giving me trouble was Credo. Every time I came so close to killing this motherfucker with a triple S, he would always pull the rug out from under me and snatch the W. Oh, he's not gonna let me do that anymore. Man, getting the triple S on Credo is gonna take a lot of practice. He's so hard to dodge, man. This got so annoying that I actually made use of a neat hidden mechanic in this game. Or maybe it's not that hidden if you suck ass at this game, but I actually forgot it was a thing. Basically, if you die on a boss and hit continue, three times in a row, what this does is this will actually nerf the boss in some ways. Come on, Credo, put it in me. According to my sources, the boss will actually be less aggressive and will have a lower health pool, making him slightly easier to kill. And I guess it can't be coincidence because once I tried this, during my very next attempt, I was able to earn the triple S on Credo without him snatching it away from me. So I guess this did something. Yeah! Holy f yes. Wow, that worked! Now all that was left for me to do was to complete Bloody Palace using every playable character. Now I really didn't want to have to play through a full nother playthrough of this game on Dante Must Die difficulty in order to unlock the super costumes for Dante and Nero. So instead, I decided to pay a visit to the good old PlayStation Store and go ahead and buy that DLC pack for eight whole dollars to unlock these skins a little quicker. Oh well, small price to pay for my sanity. As you can see, I'm at the uh, screen, just purchased it. There we go. The super versions of Nero, Dante, and Virgil have been added. They could be selected from the mission menu. Thank you, sir. If you're unfamiliar with the Devil May Cry franchise, the super costumes are a reoccurring unlock for beating the hardest difficulty in the game. And when you wear these costumes, you are given access to infinite devil trigger. And this basically turns the entire game into easy mode. These costumes also grant a few other perks as well, depending on which character you're playing as. Oh, and he gets full rev too? Oh, that's sick. I know he did in five, I wasn't sure if he did in this. Now it's worth noting that I did already finish Bloody Palace using Virgil back when this game first came out. And going through it as Virgil was honestly a joke, because he could literally just spam Judgment Cut End every second you regain control of the character. Just mash the button and watch the bodies drop. Needless to say, the challenge itself was trivialized. You couldn't even take damage while doing this, so failure was nearly impossible. 
There's even a trophy to defeat Dante at the very end on the last floor of Bloody Palace without taking damage. This trophy sounds scary as f but when you have access to shit like this, it's just laughable. Needless to say, I got this trophy no problem. Next up was Dante, and this run was nearly just as meme as Virgil's. You start a floor, activate Devil Trigger, switch to Gunslinger style, triple jump, and if you have Pandora's box equipped, just mash the circle button and watch the bodies drop. I flew through Bloody Palace using this method and laughed my way to the bank. All right, that's Dante's Bloody Palace. Done and dusted. After that, I decided to tackle Nero's Bloody Palace. And although he didn't have access to any huge exploits like Dante or Virgil, having his super costume still made getting through Bloody Palace very doable. And I didn't have too much difficulty. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. That's such a neat trick. God, I forgot how good it feels to play as Nero in this game. Like, I... Like, Nero is so nerfed from DMC5. Don't get me wrong. Like, DMC5 Nero feels a thousand times better to play than this. But what's nice about this Nero is that all the reason all the enemies feel like shit to fight is because they're all tailor-made and catered for Nero to be able to deal with them. Yeah, so, like, Nero has a lot less of a harder time with the dipshit enemies than, than the other characters. Because the game was more balanced around him than the other playable characters. So, and, and it's noticeable, man. Like, it feels really good. Although I did, however, f*** up and die on Burial because I was just so used to fighting him as Lady. I just completely forgot how to actually play the game as an honest character like Nero, who has to actually work for the win. So that was pretty funny. It'd be great if he could get... Oh, it's over, I think. Yeah. I don't know how to fight Burial properly. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no f***ing clue how to fight Burial properly. No idea. Oh, man. That's not good. I'm f***ing really, bro? This is the way to fight them, bro. I've discovered the tech. What are you doing, mate? Don't you see? There's no answer for my tech. This is the Anto and The Anto? What? This is the Anti-Angelo tech. Feel free to steal it, chat. I've discovered the way. Oh! Whoever said he, when he uses Royal Guard, he's free? That person knew the code, bro. I would just spam Snatch and it's free when he has Royal Guard, you're right. Ooh, I got a little nervous there, though, gotta admit. Woo! Bring it on! Done with Nero. Now here's where the last few trophies in the game get real tricky. You see, unlike Virgil, Dante, or Nero, Lady and Trish do not have access to unlockable super costumes. Which means in order to clear Bloody Palace as these two characters, I would have to do it completely, honestly, and fairly. This means I'd have to actually play the game and have enough skill to pull this off. After all, Bloody Palace requires you to clear a whopping 101 enemy waves consecutively, all in one sitting. This means that if I got to floor 99 and died, my ass is restarting from the first floor. And completing a full run of Bloody Palace takes a while. About an hour, give or take, depending on your skill level. This wouldn't be easy. In fact, I was extremely intimidated by this challenge. However, the god gamer in me just had to prove that I could pull this off. And so I made my attempt. I decided to start my first attempt using Trish because I figured she would be the more difficult of the two. And I wanted to know if I at least stood a chance at seeing success. Oh, that was an accident, but I guess it worked out. <laughs> that was 100% an input error. I did not mean to do that. <sighs> that was my worst blitz fight by far. By far. But then they gave me a bunch of Chimera Seeds. That's pretty kind of you, game. 
One thing I will say that helped immensely throughout my run is knowing what enemies were on what floor before I would proceed to the next floor. This way nothing would catch me off guard, I wouldn't be, oh god, surprised by something unexpected and potentially lose the whole run. This way I could mentally prepare and I overall stood a much better chance and I was able to bring my A game. So next one's gonna be Echidna. Very cute. This doesn't die when you win. Without your mommy, you're nothing. What an asshole, bro. Okay, after this floor, things get spooky. Oh. I thought that was gonna do a lot more damage than it did, so I'm thankful for that. Oh. There was a moment where it almost went to shit, and uh, I, again, I activated Devil Trigger to uh, start getting some health back. That shit came in real clutch. And then one of the, immediately after that, one of the Biancos dropped a huge green, a fat green orb, dude. One down, one to go. Jesus, Dante, a little space, my boy. And much to my surprise, eventually, I was able to pull out the win. And I had finally finished Bloody Palace using Trish. May the savior be with you. Ugh. As if. Ha! Ah. It is done. Pulling this off gave me a huge confident boost going into Ladies Run. After all, I had a much easier time playing through the story mode and earning S ranks as Lady, because as I said, this character is just so overpowered. However, I didn't realize the biggest downside that Lady had, which is that out of all the playable characters in the game, she has noticeably less health than all of them. That's right, the characters actually have hidden health values, and Ladies just happens to be the lowest, meaning she's the easiest to kill in the game. Here you could see me nearly getting a hundred to zeroed by this devil triggered mega scarecrow. And this put the fear of God in your boy. No way! Ah! Jesus! What was that damage? Oh my god! After that happened, I was terrified. I thought at any moment my run could just end to some bullshit like that and I was starting to wonder how the hell I was gonna pull this off. Here I thought I was gonna have more difficulty playing as Trish, because that's how it was in story mode, but in Bloody Palace it's the fucking opposite. It's actually harder to do this as Lady, because she's so goddamn squishy and easy to kill. But as it turns out, your boy had a strategy for that too, and this strategy's gonna look hella familiar if you watched my DMC5 Platinum video. You see, there's a reoccurring gameplay mechanic throughout these games, a little thing called camera manipulation. Basically what this means is if you aim the camera away from your enemies, this means having no enemies actually on your screen visible to the character or you, they become extremely docile and they basically don't move at all or try to attack you. They show no aggression. They're just kind of wandering around. They don't actually try to f with you unless they're on the screen. And let's just say this was incredibly exploitable while playing as Lady. My entire game plan became just this lame-ass strategy. I would basically run circles around the arena, charging level three handguns, and once it was charged, I would let it rip, continue to run, rinse and repeat, do it all again. And I would do this until every enemy in the arena was defeated. What's really nice is by the time you get to the really difficult floors in Bloody Palace, you have amassed so much extra time that no matter how long this strategy takes, no matter how suboptimal it is, even if fights take 10 times as long as usual, you'll still never run the clock the whole way. There is basically no chance of failing once you get to this point. I've just accumulated so much bonus time that failure is impossible. And so I could run the clock for as long as I wanted, just running laps around the enemies, spamming level three handguns, and there wasn't much they could do. Sure, it took a long ass f***ing time to do this, but if it was between things taking significantly longer, 
or me losing and having to start again from floor one, this made the choice very easy. And so I played out the rest of her bloody palace like a lame f And I have no shame, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. If I was more passionate about this game and I liked the game more, maybe I would have actually tried to do it legit. But this game pisses me the f off and I can't wait to be done with it. So no, I'm gonna use the asshat strategy. Let's go. Oh god, it's over. <laughs> Tell Dante I'm better. Finally get off this fucking game. Oh. So was it worth it? Well, for the first time in my entire full Platinum Experience trilo or trilogy, what, series, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Devil May Cry 4 was a miserable fucking Platinum. And when I was playing this game during its most challenging moments, I wasn't having any fun. Even by the end of this Platinum, you could see my visual reaction I didn't get hype, I didn't explode in celebration, yeah, like I normally do. No, I was just happy it was done, I felt dead inside, and I was just happy to put it behind me. I would not recommend this Platinum to anyone. Unlike Devil May Cry 5, this game is not that fun to play when it comes to the most challenging stuff in the game. I'd say playing this game casually is perfectly fine. If you don't give a shit about trophies, it's a perfectly fun game. However, this game is just a little bit too jank for my taste. And if this game ever gets re-released on PS5 with a new trophy list, yeah, f*** that. I'm never platinuming this game again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for all things trophy related, and of course hit that notification bell. Be sure to check out my full platinum experience over on my channel for many more platinum trophy videos on other games. And lastly, I live stream here on my channel every week which is how I get all the footage for these games when I make these videos. So if you actually want to see me do this in real time, come hang out with me and my wonderful community. Be sure to stop by. Anyways, take it easy, have a good one, and I will definitely see you in the next one.